Hello ladies and gentlemen, Fred and Stag here, and welcome back to the House of a Dragon. We are back. And this time we are playing during the Dance of Dragons, which for many people that have watched House of Dragon, you will be very familiar with this starting position and starting scenario. Upon King Viserys' death in 129AL, the Lord Commander of the King's Guard, Sir Kristen Cole, later called the Kingmaker, defied the late King's will, then named his daughter Princess Rhaenyra as his heir, and instead crowned her younger brother, Prince Aegon as King Aegon II. A civil war between Aegon and Rhaenyra Targaryen for control of the Iron Throne erupts, later known as the Dance of Dragons. The first known surviving child of Queen Emma Arryn, she was named heir to the Iron Throne by her father, Viserys I. However, a plot began to place her younger brother Aegon II on the throne, while she was confined, belly swollen, on Dragonstone. Determined to seize her rightful place, and with the backing of the Black, she would take her seat with fire and blood. So yes, we're playing as Rhaenyra Targaryen. I don't think I need to do any of the rules. I think that's pretty much the same. That's fine. But yeah, we're playing as Rhaenyra. Uh, that's the idea for Dance of Dragons. I'm going to play Aegon, potentially Aemon, slash Aemon, at another point. At some point in the future, I'm going to play as uh, Aemon. Uh, have Aegon not be as involved. And then, for some reason, Aemon becomes king. There's a story behind it in my head that I have yet to really put it to paper. But, um, or by paper to actual console commands. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to do something with Aegon another time. And probably the same with True Fire. The reason I'm not doing True Fire, because the, the um, Targaryen Dynasty series we did, we basically started it around the same time as True Fire. And if I'm not doing that as part of the House of Dragon, I don't see the point in doing True Fire as well again. Like, almost again, but this time just as True Fire instead of, like, the Dragon Knight who we basically had over in there. In our, um... Uh, Targaryen Dynasty series, I'm not doing that. Um, outlining this for this series will be as follows. Rhaenyra Targaryen part of Dance of Dragons. Uh, then we do the Conqueror. The uh, Conqueror. The Young Dragon, sorry. And we'll be conquering Dawn with him. And then we'll be moving on to potentially to play as... Uh, after that, which will be the Blackfire Rebellion as King uh, Daron II. And then we'll play... I'll skip a few of the other scenarios and we'll go straight to the Raymond Redbeard invasion, which seems to be quite interesting with a... 100,000 guys coming south. That's quite interesting. The rest of the point is small uh, Blackfire Rebellions were very one-sided for the Targaryens. There's no point showing those. And then there's one Greyjoy Rebellion, I think. And then you had the Laughing Storm. But very minor conflicts. I just don't think are worth showing. So, yeah. Um, after that, we'll do the Nine Penny Kings. Which probably has um, Jaharis versus the uh, Maze Blackfire. We are playing as the Targaryens, not the Blackfires, so it can't make sense for us to stick with the Targaryens rather than hopping over to the Blackfires all the time. Um, and then after that, we'll be the War of Usurper as Eris, uh, the Mad King, and then eventually Rhaegar. And then we'll just go forward again to Daenerys in the Clash of Kings. And then we'll finally wrap it up with Aegon the Second. So, yeah. Aegon the Second? Aegon the Sixth, sorry. <laughs> over in the uh, Stormlands, starting his rebellion. I'm saving John and a few other characters for a separate series later down the line. I want House of Dragon and House of the Stag, House of, St House of the Wolf, those sort of series to focus on the main big scenarios and events that took place in the Seven Kingdoms. Um, not so much made up fake scenarios like we did with the Dornish. Excuse me. Uh, like we did with the Dornish War, which was fun. But, um, but yeah, so maybe I'll fix that again, but yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I'm outlining the end of Dance of Dragons. Once Dance of Dragons ends, I'm going to be doing a faction vote on the YouTube community tab for the for what takes the um, slot next for uh, Game of Thrones content. What house I'll play next. Which could be any. I'm still sort of deciding. But yeah. We're playing as Rhaenyra. So we're at War of Aegon, Helena, Aemond, and Prince Daeron, who hasn't been mentioned in the show. I heard some rumour that he wouldn't be in the show, and I thought, what the fuck are you doing? Why wouldn't you put Daron in the show? He's fucking great. And there's a whole, like, you can really have him involved in the Reach, coming north, bringing the Reach army. And there's a POV character down there. And I just think to myself, what the fuck? You, why would you not add Daron? He's such a good character. And it seems bizarre to me, but there you go. Um, you got Alicent, our rival. We've also got uh, Damon, who we're married to. And we've got Viserys, Aegon, Visenya, who unfortunately died stillborn. Uh, Joffrey, Lyceris. Viserys, you are absolutely not bastards. I will not hear otherwise. <laughs> right, we'll get Daemon as my bodyguards. Um, Tristan Drace, fuck me. Him. Formidable fighter. Okay, yeah, we want him in command. Or, probably the dragon riders first. 
You're pretty good. We'll take you 18 and the he's out. And the other Drace for take him as well. Uh, Cupbearer, we will have. Um, who's uh, my King's God? That makes sense. Let's go give out some honorary titles. The Valarians are under us completely, so that's that's good. Uh, Court Tutor. Damon, I know he's going to be kind of busy. So Lord of Lansdale. I don't really need to add generals or other like, commanders in. Uh, why I want you to be leading armies. You Hammer, Trust and Dress. Anyone else, actually? Uh, any other Dragon Riders that I'm missing? I thought we had Nettles, but I don't know. We don't need all my dragons. I've got already a load, so I feel like I don't need any more. Cargyle will take you. You can train kids. Proved Defense of Dragonstone. So Descent in the Seven in the Red Keep. Sabotage the Red Keep. I think that might be King's Landing, but uh, no, no, I did it right. That's fine. Uh, collect taxes, serve the court, and do that pretty much. Now, I don't have a lot of time to record, so let's try and make this as short as we can and get at least a bit of action in before I end up wrapping things up. This is like my last chance to get recording before I start, um, before I go off to, before I, um, so I'm doing like two things with friends and then another thing with my girlfriend. So I have like no, like no days to do any recording. So apart from like, uh, Friday, but then I've got work for the next two days. So I'm like, I need to get a video in if I can. My dear father, King Ephesus is dead and it was his wish that I'm to follow him as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. The traitorous Lord Commander, Kristen Cole of the King's God, however, has seen fit to crown my harper of Aegon. Now I must bring dragon fire upon my blood to regain what is mine. And Lucerius is off to uh, do that. And also, if we die, Lucerius becomes a Targaryen. Which, he is a Targaryen. He's not a Valarian. Because, do I need to explain why? <laughs> because, it's not a real dragon. Ed. He's a bastard. But no. Yeah, in my opinion, I'm not really on either side. I think both bad of each other. But at the same time, Rhaenyra was promised for Rome by her father. And it was in front of the whole of the Lords of the Seven Kingdoms. So I can sort of like, you know, I I get it. <laughs> I think Rhaenyra's in the right, really? But she's not done the best. She's done some pretty questionable things in the last several years. With the alleged death of uh, Elena. Although in the show, he's rumoured to disappear in this. I'm pretty sure he was just killed. I'm getting a more train for martial focus because I'm going to need him. In battle, I'm pretty sure. Adam Valarian. Oh god. Um, it's probably not a bad idea to get just Ceres to be uh, martial focus. Again, we're not playing them as like. I don't. Uh, we may end up with just Ceres if things go shit, so I may as well get him to be pretty fucking powerful if I can. Uh, the Ceres, if he doesn't get murked, I'll give him. Um, I could send him to the wall to try and save him, but I just think that's, that's ridiculous. I can send them all to the wall. I think that's just an option if you want to, like, have, like, no bastards. I think. Yeah, from my, uh, from my understanding is that the Targaryens tend to target your capital for some annoying reason, which is, I don't know. The AI is always targeted, like... In any, like, scenario, the AI just loves to target your stuff. Which I always, always think is ridiculous. Um, I can become celibate, but I'm not going to. Because that's definitely not... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, um, that actually doesn't seem... Now I think about it, that's not a sensible idea. But, I don't know. I don't think Rhaenyra wouldn't... The only reason Rhaenyra lost that child was because of, um... Because she found out that what happened. And it's happened, isn't it? Uh, you want to marry? Go for it. I don't know who to marry you to, be honest. Uh, Nettles, if she's around? I thought she was. I know she is. That keeps the uh, dragon seeds together. Sort of. No, no. No, I'm thinking about it. Oh, the egg on's over there, so kill him. Land 2k over there. 
Has um, Joffrey been... Uh, Lysera's been murked? No, but the Baratheons have turned against me. Has the event not fired? Or maybe it has. It hasn't gone through yet. I don't know. Oh. Ah, here we go. Oh, no. No, never mind. Uh, Merriweb has joined me and so has some of the Stormlanders. Good. And Hayford as well. Ah, I see he's executed a few guys. Oh, no. I think he died and then he just became the Lord and then just changed sides. Find high above. The uh, Dragon Riking Aegon secondly is a dive attack and sure, he's dead. <laughs> he's got all of them. He's got three dragons against him. He's going to die. Aymara's Bravery. Uh oh. Uh, news from the Battle of Sea Lion Co. My prince, you caught it all white. was been slain. He was killed in combat by... Oh, that guy. Commander of... Of Dragon's name, but he's with the target. Okay. Uh, with Aegon. Well, all white's dead, so that's him gone. Uh, Rosby's with me. Good. That's Nettles get you in the command. That's him gone, annoyingly. Where is he over here? Oh, shit. Well, that was fucking quick. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened here? He ate in the second. Now you're at mercy. I think we killed him. No, it wasn't me. Some find this rider left weakened and vulnerable, and Caraxes does not hesitate to finish them off. Caraxes dives at them, crashing them at great speed. I'm not surprised. It's the Bloodworm versus Sunfire. They are ripped apart and eventually crash into the ground on the left day. Sunfire is now a lifeless corpse. So Aegon's dead. Killed by Daemon Targaryen and Epic Dragon Jaw. That's pretty badass. Yeah, I think the script hasn't fired for um, the um, for the for the storm's end thing. I don't know why that hasn't. Maybe, maybe Lucera's got away. What the fuck? Red keep peasant rubble. God. Oh, Perkin the flea. <laughs> and Tristan Truefire. Fuck. I forget they are actual characters in the game. <laughs> He's a uh, rebel. That's interesting. Very interesting. We've got from what it looks like the uh, the three daughters have arrived. They don't have enough men to take it, but we are going to have to go over there and help. Um, I need to win some alliances over to our side. Even though we just killed Aegon, we still want you know law right, law wise, we're going to try and get some alliances. Uh, Yes. I was going to say, Cyrus knows could marry to Ceres, but then he married her to a fucking Dothraki. As, that, as if that would make any kind of law sense. I, I'm just... I should have done the princesses before, or married people off before they, the AI gets control. Because the AI is going to do some shitty fucking marriages. Eh, potentially. No, no one do it. Unless it's matrilineal, they will not do it. On maybe this girl, potentially? They want a matrilineal you know, alliance, which I could give them jo uh, maybe Joffrey, actually. Aleandra's the heir, so if I marry, betroth her to Joffrey, matrilineal you know, here become, that'll bring the Dornish into it, not the fold, but like sort of with us. Tyrells are out of the war because there's a child in charge of the country, and the Lannisters are hate us. The Greyjoys should be be in a war against the Lannisters? Should be? Um... Yeah, they should be in a war against the Lannisters. I don't know why they're not. Okay. Yeah, Tully's out of it because he's 80. And his son... Ah, there they go. If I can get an alliance with the uh, the Tullys, that sort of secures things. So we did that. Yeah, Greyjoy should be attacking the uh, the the West, but I don't know why he hasn't. Who's that I married? I know Lysaris. I married to Thingy. Now I saw it. I may even may do that actually. Uh, Malison Blackwood actually. Yeah, she's pretty interesting as a character. She convinces uh, she convinces the uh, Stark not to kill everyone. 
Or Marin to the Tali girl. Who the Tali's are with us. The Blackwoods Oh, yeah, they're with us as well. Hmm. A farmer, actually. Because I could marry a because if I can get the farmers on the side, I might be able to secure some sort of allegiance potentially. Ah, great joy. That's not a bad match. And the non-aggression pack will stop him attacking me. And then we do Viserys will marry him off to Oh god. Uh Stokesworth? Are they with me? No. <laughs> They're not. Um Massey has joined me. Maybe Tarth deserves a marriage? Yeah. Because Tarth joined me, I might marry off to Viserys, I think, as a Rewards. Uh, as for Damon's daughters, which I don't think it's going to get me out a lot marriage wise. Lara Strong, yeah, it's Guider. Um, yeah, I'm not really. Who the hell's a house tree guard? Never heard of that house before. That's new. Joffrey. No, that's my son. <laughs> oh, unless I marry. Possibly add them off to Baylo, maybe? Yeah, because she's got the dragon. And then we drove Alan to Rainer, and what that does, because I think Alan's already with us, but what that will do is secure Hawley's sort of. Because he did have them as bastards, so if he marries them to the, you know, the daughters of. It's very confusing, but Hawley's. But these are meant to be Lionel's forgotten sons, uh, Adam and Alan. But they're actually Corley's his bastards. He just named them as his Alan's son and named her the the mother of them. Uh, the role of Hull. So if I marry Adam and Chiseris together, it, even though uh, not Chiseris, Adam and Alan, even though they're bastards, it does sort of sec it secures Lionel's claim. So if Adam takes over, and it secures the claim by uh, Lena as well. So it, it, it pleases both parties, like ones that prefer Bela to be the uh, so they Duchess of <laughs> of Driftmark, but no, not Duchess, High Lord of Driftmark, and it pleases the ones that wanted Lainor's sons and relatives to become the the uh, in charge. Which now I think about it, because because Lyceris is dead, so he's not too worried about. I don't think Joffrey's going to grow up with much care for um being the Lord Driftmark, but with actual sons of Lainor, they're probably more than happy to. Probably give them the title, I imagine. Um, who's that coming over? The Iron Throne. Right, let's get all our troops together over there. And then we need to deal with the three daughters and then sail over to deal with that. But that's the one issue. We're going to suffer with this. And I can get Alliance of Dawn. Good. I'm sorry to accept your suggestion. Excellent stuff. No, you went to form Alliance with me. But it keeps them off my back, which is the main thing. You'll fight him with me anyway, but I can get an alliance with you. Can I? Ooh. I can bribe him a bit. And if, we, if I can get him to fight against... I don't think... Because of the... Because it's Elise, it's not going to work as well, I don't think. I don't think he'd be able to, because it's his granddaughter, maybe it doesn't work. Although you think it should. But there you go. We're called the Dornishan. Uh, rally up 8,000. Balance up the troops a bit. Get Tristan Drace in charge. And let's not land there, that's suicide. Yeah, unlikely we're going to get some ships to join us. Hello. Your enemy, Lord Humphrey Bracken, has been slain. Was killed in direct single combat by uh, one of the. Is the Freys with us? If so, that greatly surprises me. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Thank you, Frey. Uh, let's see if Bracken. I, I, I imagine his son's gonna go against us. I oh, see. Yeah, asking to be. That's fine. It never lets me do that now. The Brackens have just probably to avenge his father. Um, can we now get Farman to betray? No, he won't do it. Which, uh, uh, it makes sense. Uh, Dawn should come help soon. Uh, Farron's coming, excellent. 
And Tarf's coming, you're already in the war, so that's fine. Get another Commander of Dragon. So I'm not really inviting courtiers over, there's just no point. Uh, we already have a sufficient enough commanders, so I'm fine with that. We haven't, we're not in a scenario where we haven't got many commanders. Because, yeah. Where's Rainy Stargarin? Uh, oh, she's got scurvy shit. Hope she doesn't die of that, because that would be annoying as shit. Um, hoping Targ might come and... Uh, I say Targ. <laughs> I'm hoping the Greens will come get me. Ooh, well done. My cousin Rain has got a dragon. Excellent stuff. We're name we're already named that dragon. Uh, Raynar. Um... Yeah, it actually works. <laughs> yeah, brain art sounds about not too bad. Well, I think we are gonna have to attack them. I think. Uh, so Alpha Broom, you can marry. You like, I'm not really overly bothered. Oh, they are attacking me. Good, fine. Come to me then. That's just half their army as well. That's just a triarchy. Thinking they can take me on. Let's go for it. Yeah, we automatically just screwed their entire army there. And uh, Rainy's got a dragon egg. Nice. Let's push against them. Who's here? Uh, Master Mortis is here. Yeah, my girlfriend has finished work, so I'll do this battle and then wrap, wrap things off. There, what the fuck happened? A new bank's been stabbed in Driftmark. That's really interesting. Okay. And fight across the field. I can't. Yeah, Rhaenyra would die. So we're going to get Eric Cargo to save me. Yeah, he saw Cargo and thought, fuck that. Uh, Marston got slain by Damon. Excellent stuff. That was avenging thingy. Hey, Farman's coming. Ooh, begins. Yeah, despite this epic victory here, uh, Laurent captured this guy. Yeah, it's the Kingdom of the Three Daughters. That's... No, you anyway, won't ransom. I uh, miscued. That's one less person that could become the heir. And I guess two of the commanders. So Targaryen's in route. Um, on though, it doesn't go as well in over in the wet, over in the iron, because the Targaryen's about to take out the Fraser. So it's going okay over in Dragonstone. We've taken out Aegon, but unfortunately the rest of the war isn't going too well. So we need to wrap up our conflict over on Driftmark and get over to the actual mainland where the fighting has taken place. I thought Dawn was coming. There they are. Okay, good. But anyway, that's all this video. I know this has been a bit short. Sorry about that. I'm just so busy lately at the moment. It's just fitting the time in. It's just difficult right now. But I'm getting there. Um, trying to like get some bits done. Like the custom general overhauls and whatnot. And uh, working around that at work. And Christmas is just generally quite busy. So once that's out of the way. And maybe the new year. I might have a bit more time to sort some stuff out. And do some more content. But I hope you guys like the outline. The plan that I've set up for Dance of the House of Dragon. And then let me know what suggestions you'd like to see for um, probably... The, um, uh, 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 for what house, house you want me to play next after the, after the House of Dragons series. But anyway, that's all for now. I've got to go. Uh, thank you for watching and hope you guys are enjoying. Next episode, we should carry on with the Dance of Dragons and hopefully get a victory. Although with Aegon dead, it's looking pretty likely. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and farewell.